Hello? Surprise! Happy Disney Plus Day, Jenny! Whoa, way to get into the Disney Plus Day spirit. This is amazing, Andre. Thank you. You know, I was gonna tell you something. Oh, really? What? Ah, you know, I'm trying to remember. It was something like, surprise! Whoa! Look at all the decorations! Jenny, you shouldn't have. Are you kidding? It's finally Disney Plus Day. Yes, it is. Let's celebrate. Hey, where is everybody? It's showtime. Did they forget it's Disney Plus Day? Happy Disney Plus Day! Happy, Happy Disney Plus Day. Day! Today we're celebrating with the cast and crew of some exciting Disney Plus Day premieres, including Marvel Studios' Thor, Love and Thunder, and so much more. I'm Jenny. And I'm Andre. This is What's Up Disney Plus, where we talk all things Disney Plus. Let's kick off the Disney Plus Day celebration with some familiar Disney Plus faces. Hola, hola. I just want to say Happy Disney Plus Day. Happy Disney Plus Day! It's the best day of the year for Disney Plus fans. Nothing beats Disney Plus Day. But the day after Disney Plus Day. That's beatable. That's what I'm talking about. I can think of one thing. No, no. No, actually I can't. Happy Disney Plus Day! Happy Disney Plus Day, everybody. Happy Disney Plus Day! Happy Disney Plus Day! Happy Disney Plus Day! 998, 999, 1000! Oh, her god bods are really shaping up, Andre. We'll be ready for battle in no time. One of the best things about Disney Plus Day is all of the exciting movies and series that are now streaming. That's right, and speaking of god bods, Thor Love and Thunder follows Thor as he embarks on a classic Thor adventure. Now we get to hear from the cast and crew of Thor Love and Thunder. Ooh. Uh oh, going down, going down. Oh, I know I shouldn't have skipped leg day. Hi, I'm Chris Hemsworth and I play Thor in Marvel Studios' Thor Love and Thunder. It is a wacky, crazy, fun, intergalactic, romantic comedy set in space. I love playing this character. I've done it for 10 or 11 years now, and it's like catching up with an old friend every time I put on the costume. Every time I find something new and have an opportunity to do something different and fresh and unique, and I love it. I think it was pretty cool for Thor to see Jane now as the mighty Thor. Immediately, I was in awe of everything she was doing. It was very exciting to get to return to Jane Foster, especially that she now has this other persona as the mighty Thor. It was amazing to get to wield Thor's famous hammer, Mjolnir, for the first time. It's such a privilege, I know, for anyone in the MCU to even be able to lift Thor's hammer that it really requires a lot of worthiness, which I took very seriously. This is my second outing with Thor. Um, I also did Thor Ragnarok and fell in love with the character and with Chris and with working with Chris and just wanted to do it all over again. And yeah, we've made this film bigger, more colorful, and more bombastic than ever. It's a dream to work with Marvel. They're fantastic, they're family. They allowed me to really bring my own personality and my style to these films, and I can't thank them enough for that. Taika, he's got a bloody great sense of humor, um, but then also mixes it with real sincerity. It's a surprising piece of cinema that is uh, not only very bloody funny, but also uh, very, very beautifully shot and very moving as well. And, uh, you know, with uh, a name like Gore the God Butcher, maybe there might be a few surprises and might be some understanding for this man, but he still remains a monster. I'm thrilled to have the opportunity. I'm so thankful for the fans, their appreciation and love for these films, because I have such an incredible time being a part of it all. All thanks to you guys, the fans. Marvel Studios' Thor Love and Thunder is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Now break out your popcorn, because we've got the ultimate Disney Plus Day watch list. Well, hold on, Andre. You're going to need more popcorn than that, because there's a lot to stream for Disney Plus Day. Good call. In addition to Thor Love and Thunder, Pinocchio is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Directed by Robert Zemeckis, the reimagining of the animated classic featuring Tom Hanks as Geppetto, Benjamin Evan Ainsworth as Pinocchio, Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Jiminy Cricket, and Cynthia Erivo as the Blue Fairy follows the puppet Pinocchio as he tries to become a real boy. Now buckle up for Cars on the Road. This series follows Lightning McQueen and Mater as they hit the road for a super fun cross-country road trip. 
try to keep your cool and we'll try to keep ours because next up we're watching the BTS concert, BTS Permission to Dance on Stage LA. Featuring their first Los Angeles concert in two years, BTS takes the stage at the SoFi Stadium with a crowd that radiates anticipation and cheer. If you're in the mood for more adventure, National Geographic's Epic Adventures with Birdie Gregory is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. The original series follows next generation explorer and filmmaker Birdie Gregory as he uses technology to tell real life animal stories while documenting it all as he goes. Growing Up, executive produced by Brie Larson and Culture House, is a brand new 10 episode hybrid docuseries featuring coming of age stories. Each episode follows an 18 to 22 year old as they navigate the obstacles on their way to self-discovery and acceptance, proving the hardest part of growing up is the courage to be yourself. Speaking of Brie Larson, she also stars in the short film Remembering. In this all new original story, a writer seeks to discover a lost idea and takes viewers on a journey through the world of imagination. If you want to get your sing-along on, Frozen and Frozen 2 sing-alongs are now streaming as part of the new Disney Plus sing-along collection. Next up on the list is the Dancing with the Stars special featuring a compilation of the pro's most memorable dances. You evil cackle. Get ready for a wild ride with The Simpsons Welcome to the Club. The all new short, a Disney Plus day premiere, is now streaming only on Disney Plus. For those looking to experience more of the limited series, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi, A Jedi's Return is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. The behind the scenes special explores the return of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker to the screen. For those looking for more Jennifer Walters, there's a brand new episode of Marvel Studios' She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Plus, after you stream Thor Love and Thunder, check out Marvel Studios Assembled, which follows the making of the movie. And to get ready for Andor on September 21st, you can catch a special look now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Ooh, there is so much to stream, Andre. Truly. All these and more are now streaming on Disney+. Plus. And to make sure you're able to catch everything on the Disney Plus Day watch list, there's an exclusive Disney Plus offer. New subscribers can now get Disney Plus for $1.99 for 30 days. This offer is available from now until September 19th. And now here are even more special announcements. The cast of season 31 of Dancing with the Stars was announced today on Good Morning America, and we can't wait to see who takes home the mirror ball. And this weekend, we'll be headed to the ultimate Disney fan event, the D23 Expo. Don't miss all the big announcements coming out of the panels this weekend, starting Friday with the Disney 100 kickoff, celebrating 100 years of wonder and the Disney Legends Ceremony, followed by new details regarding upcoming titles from Disney Live Action, Pixar Animation Studios, and Walt Disney Animation Studios. On Saturday morning, filmmakers, celebrities, and surprise guests will join Marvel Studios and Lucasfilm, among others, on stage in Hall D23. Followed by news from Disney branded television in the afternoon, including looks at the new Disney Plus original series, National Treasure, Edge of History, American Born Chinese, and the Santa Clauses. And it all wraps up on Sunday with the Disney Parks panel of announcements and updates on the magic happening around the world in parks, on the high seas, at home, and beyond. Followed by a special performance of Disney Princess the Concert. We celebrated Disney Plus Day with exciting premieres, talked Thor Love and Thunder, and heard all the incredible Disney Plus Day announcements. That's our show. Be sure to head on over to Disney Plus to stream all of these and more. Plus, don't miss next week's episode to see us at the D23 Expo, where we'll have even more announcements to share. Ginny, do you know what time it is? Time to stream all the Disney Plus Day releases? Bingo. I think we're going to need more popcorn. I've been training for this. Oh, you are definitely ready for Disney Plus Day. Uh, a little help here? Oh, no problem. I've been training for this. Not what I meant, not what I meant. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Happy Disney Plus Day, everybody. <sighs>